Welcome to a video that will show you how to make a smoker from a filing cabinet. First mark out the hole positions that will allow smoke to migrate from the bottom to the top of the smoker. Start with a small drill and gradually make them bigger and end up with holes just to under half an inch in diameter. The bottom drill will be the firebox which is where the wood chips are placed to create the smoke to cold smoke the meat that will be placed in the drawers above it. We thought of using hole saws and other types of drill bits but the drill would get too hot. So we opted for more holes, smaller in diameter versus fewer larger diameter holes. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And uh, alright, so there are three smoker drawers, and the bottom drawer therefore does not require holes. It's important to know what temperatures you are operating on as we are aiming for cold smoke to impart a smoky taste to the meat. We found a thermometer on an old gas barbecue cleaned off the rust and adhered it to the side of the cabinet. It was placed adjacent to the second to top drawer. For a cold smoker you don't want temperatures to exceed 80 degrees Fahrenheit or 40 degrees Celsius, which happens to be the low limits of this thermometer. We decided to convert some casual rhino firewood into charcoal, but you can use briquettes or gas or a single plate stove. Alright, here we have the pork shank that we have uh, basically marinated in maple syrup, brown sugar and salt for a week, uh, turning it every day. And now we're going to just let it dry out a bit wipe it down first with a cloth, a sterilized cloth and um, let it dry out a bit in the fridge and then we're going to smoke it. We've got these what they call uh, just wet and wipe, uh, it's like little wipes and uh, it's dry as you can see. All you do is just drop in a bit of water and uh, all right, it just unfolds and comes a little wipe. And that's obviously sealed in the pack and ster sterile. Perfect for wiping down meat. Okay, so after you've marinated it and wiped it off, and now let it dry in the fridge for a little while. This neat little smoker, which is an Alpi gas cylinder cut in half, actually fits perfectly into the firebox drawer and will not cause the cabinet to be exposed to direct flames which could cause unwanted fumes and the metal to degrade over time. To create the wood smoke uh, that we use to flavor the meat we need to create some heat and for that we use a charcoal starter device most commonly used to get briquettes or charcoal going. We get the, the wood to then turn into charcoal and to that we add briquettes. The smoker log is placed on the coals to provide continuous smoke throughout. Inside the drawers we have placed wooden slats to keep the grates or chicken wire elevated and allow smoke to enter through the holes unobstructed. It 
take the meat, place it on the rack in the top drawer uh, where the least heat is and actually probably the most smoke is as well. Close the drawer and leave it. After a few minutes the temperature varies but stabilizes at around about 85 degrees Fahrenheit or 40, 45 degrees Celsius. We decided to take the pork shank and skewer it as part of our spit mechanism on the Weber bra or barbecue and it worked quite well. Although on another occasion we took pork belly, smoked it for two hours and it came out beautifully which we decided to cut up into bacon strips and fry on a skillet. The next morning simply wipe the drawers with a wet cloth and remove the ash from the firebox. So we hope you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to my channel for more fun projects.